everyone, it's Clarice, and as I'm sure most of you already know, next week is the Book Chubathon, and I'm going to be participating for the first time ever, and I'm so excited. Side note, unfortunately, I'm still having camera problems, so I'm still stuck with the monopod for this video, but it's a short video, so I'll survive, I think. Recently, I've been watching a lot of these Book Chubathon TBR videos, and I figured it was time that I filmed my own TBR video show you all the books that I plan to read in the book Chubathon. I chose all of these books with the challenges in mind, but I'll get to that later. The first book I'm reading is Where Things Come Back by John Corey Whaley. I actually have no clue what this book is about, but it's a relatively short book and most people say it's probably better that you go into it not knowing anything about it, which is what I'm going to do. But I've heard a lot of really good things about this book, so I'm definitely looking forward to it. This is also the book I'm reading to fulfill the challenge of reading a book with blue on the cover. Next book I'm reading is Lullaby by Chuck Palahniuk. I also don't know too much of what this book is about, but I do know it's about the song whose lyrics, when heard, kills the people that hear it. I've read two Chuck Palahniuk books so far, and I like both of them enough, but I didn't love them or anything, so I'm hoping that I enjoy this more than I did those two. As far as challenges go, this book is my book written by an author whose first letter of his last name matched the first letter of my last name. And my last name starts with P, and Paul Nick starts with P, so I'm choosing this book. This book, Chubathon, I'm also reading Vicious by V. Schwab. I also don't know too much about this. I know it's about these college roommates who research on super-powered, extraordinary people and try to figure out how they can get superpowers themselves. And I hear it as an anti-hero and it sounds amazing. This book actually fulfills three challenges. The first being also reading someone else's favorite book because I know a lot of people love this book. Just a few names, Reagan from Peru's Project. Jesse from Jesse the Reader and a bunch of other people. This would also fulfill the challenge of reading the last book you acquired because recently I bought a few books on my Kindle and this was one of them because it was $3 last month. And it's also a book I really want to read because I've been wanting to read this book for a year now or something like that. But I'm so glad that I'm finally going to be able to get to it this book Chubathon. And lastly, just because it's a readathon and because I think readathons are the perfect time to read those quicker reads. I'm also planning to read the Runaways comic book series as many of the volumes as I can this readathon. I also don't know too much about Runaways, but I know it's about these children of a group of super villains that run away. It's on script and they're comic books and I've heard a lot of really good things about them. I'm planning to read this comic book series to fulfill the challenge of finishing a book without letting go of it because I'm sure I'll be able to finish at least one of those volumes without putting it down. And also just to fulfill the challenge of reading seven books in the readathon just by reading as many volumes of this as I can. So those are all the books that I'm planning to read this upcoming readathon. I'm relatively busy some part of next week so I'm hoping I'll be able to participate in all the challenges though I might not. But I'm still really, really looking forward to this. I feel like it's going to be a really fun time to be a part of the booktube community. Are you participating in the booktubeathon? What are you planning to read? I'd love to hear about it in the comments down below. Please like this video if you liked it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!